Hey kids, welcome to Stonebridge Kids. I'm Miss Tracy. I am so glad you're here. I hope you had an awesome Christmas and a happy new year. Can you believe we are in 2021? It's, it's crazy to me. I feel like this last year, 2020 went by so fast. So today we're gonna do things a little bit different. Next week, we'll get back to our normal lessons. But today I wanted to take a minute and I wanted to do this look back and look forward. So I wanna, um, we're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil or pen marker, or whatever you want. So in just a minute, I'm gonna give you a chance to pause this video. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back on 2020 and the things that God has done for us. And then we're gonna look forward to 2021 and asking God what we want to see him do, okay? And we're gonna have some worship music in there. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but I think we're gonna have fun with it. All right, so the verse I want us to focus on today is found in Romans 8, 28. And it says this, we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. In all things. So this is our look back, all right? So I want you to pause this video and go get a pencil and a paper or whatever you can use to write on and come back, okay? All right, welcome back. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play a worship song, Good Good Father. And as the song is playing, we're not gonna sing and do worship like we normally do, but I want you to take that pencil and that paper and I want you to write 2020 on it. And I want you to look back on 2020 and where we can see that in all things, God worked for the good for you, all things. So maybe it's even a situation that was hard, but remember our conversation that we had and how we can choose to shift our focus, say someone got sick and not, we had to cancel our plans. But remember, we can shift our focus and choose to think of the good things like, hey, I get extra time with my family. Maybe me and my brother will come up with a new game and it'll be fun. So let's look back on 2020 during this song and write down all the ways where God was a good, good father to you. Let's look back on all the good that happened in 2020, even if it happened in the middle of something not so good. All right, so let's turn on this worship song and I'll see you back here in a little bit.
Awesome. Okay, so now I want you to flip that paper over and on this side, we're gonna write 2021. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look forward. Now, I'm gonna encourage you, it doesn't have to be a word, but this is what I like to do, to choose something that you wanna, you look forward to seeing God do this next year. I usually choose the word, like one year, I remember we talked about this, I chose the word joy. I wanted to see God bring more joy in my life, no matter what was happening. I wanted to have more joy. Or there could be like a word like faith or love, or maybe you want to see God do like you can put, I want to be a better friend, or I want to make more friends, whatever. But we're going to look to God, who is a good father, and he loves to give us good gifts. Remember, we do this on our birthdays. And we're going to look forward to 2021, and we're going to ask God for some pretty amazing things. So I'm going to play another worship song. And while this song is playing, I want us to look forward to 2021. And here's the verse I want us to think about as we're doing that. And the question is still in Romans 8, and we're going to start in verse 35. Is who can separate us from Christ's love? Can trouble or hard times or harm or hunger? No. In all these things, we will do even more than win because we owe it to Christ who has loved us. I am absolutely sure that not even death or life can separate us from God's love. Not even angels or demons, the present or the future or any powers can do that. Not even the highest places or the lowest or anything in all creation can do that. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love because of what Christ Jesus our Lord has done. So as we are looking forward and we just celebrated the birth of Jesus and his life and what that meant for us. And the what God has done for us is sending Jesus to die on the cross. Nothing can separate us from God's love. I want us to think about that as we're looking forward and asking God for things in 2021. How much he loves us. All right, so here's our worship song. And I want you to look forward to 2021. But he brought me and oh his love for me Oh his love for me Who the sun sets free Oh is free indeed I'm a child of God Yes I am Free at last he has Ransom me, his grace runs deep. 
Okay, welcome back. All right, so now we've looked back and we thank God for what he has done in 2020. And we're looking forward to what he will do in 2021. Now let's take a minute and we're going to stand up and we're going to worship God and just thank him for his love and what he has done in sending Jesus to be born and to live a life and to die on the cross for us so that he, so we can spend eternity with him in heaven. So let's stand up together and let's worship. spending 2020 with you and I look forward to 2021 and all the things we're going to learn about God. It's going to be a good year and I pray that your back to school this week goes well. I know we've had a really long and awesome break but we got to get back to school right? So I'm going to be praying for you guys as you go back to school tomorrow and let's pray here right now um, before we close okay? Join with me. God, thank you so much for all you've done for us in 2020, through the hard times and the good times, Lord. We thank you that you are a God who never changes, even when our world keeps changing so much every day, Lord, that we can we can trust in the fact that you never change. 
And I thank you for already what you're going to do in each and every one of us in 2021. Lord, I pray that you become more real to each one of these kids this year, Lord. I thank you so much for our times that we get to have together. I pray over all their back to schools, Lord, that it goes well, that you keep everybody safe and healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great week, and I will see you again next week. Bye.